So what are the, some of the things that I learned? Let's go with some of the products that I tried and would not recommend. Now I haven't opened this. This is Rice Aroni's Long Grain and Wild Rice Mix, so I can't really give that a fair review. However, I did try um, the side dish by Noor, and um, it was a cheesy rice and pasta dish and did not like it. It had a, a, an aroma like cheese, but the taste and the texture were just very off-putting. And so I don't have too much hope for this one either. Uh, I probably will not buy either one of these again. Um, let me see. Idahoan is, I think, the best uh, brand of instant potatoes that, that I have tasted. I tried Betty Crocker, and I think there was another one. And these just have a real potato taste behind any kind of enhancements that they might have. This one has roasted garlic and Parmesan. Uh, but I would definitely buy Idaho and Instant Potatoes again. Um, rice. I use a lot of rice, and I definitely would keep a lot of rice on hand. Um, let me see. These um, uh, prepared potatoes, I would get them again, not necessarily for the, uh, for the dish itself, but for the dehydrated potatoes. As I said earlier, I use them in soups and stews, and I just wanted to open the package. What the advantage of these are, their seasoning packet is uh, separate, so it's not all mixed in with there, and you don't have to sift it off. And you can open this and just take a small handful, and it's amazing um, how they swell up and really give you a nice portion. So I would say two, four, six, six or seven portions of potatoes easily out of one of these. And if you get it, you know, on sale for a dollar a box, that's six meals that you can enhance by a few potatoes um, and not have to worry about having fresh potatoes, which of course I prefer. But you know, they can spoil. And again, this is for using over the winter months when you cannot get out or um, you just want to try something different. So definitely these uh, um, dehydrated, I'm sorry guys, dehydrated potato dishes I would buy again. And I have a couple more of them over here. Oh, pasta. I may have mentioned that I bought way too much pasta for one person. I only cook about an ounce at a time. And uh, these are just a couple of boxes. Here are some more pasta in uh, just a sleeve. Uh, here's some in a bag. So I would maybe just uh, limit myself to one or two pounds of pasta. Again, this is for one person for a three-month period and, and based on my preferences, my taste preferences. I don't think you can ever have too much dish liquid. I would definitely um, continue to stock up on paper products. They came in so handy. I never had to worry about running out if the weather was bad. And this applies to both toilet paper and paper towels. I just love it having them. And as I may have said earlier, I just never have been in the habit of doing that. I always kind of, uh, what is that, uh, G-I-T method of purchasing just in time. And uh, so that has definitely changed. Um, of course, I mentioned earlier another product that I really like and was surprised to discover how much I used was decaffeinated coffee. So now I've got three cans here that are unopened. I've got an opened one in the refrigerator and we'll definitely try to keep stocked ahead. Was glad to have detergent on hand anytime I needed it and I just bought them you know whenever they were on sale. I don't care about brand names. I just get what smells nice to me. I'll usually open the bottle at the store and if it smells nice that's enough of a selling point for me. So of course I have things in my kitchen cupboards, you know, the herbs and spices and the uh, the vanilla and the cinnamon and all of that, just for everyday cooking. And I always stay stocked up on that. But it was really nice knowing that I had my pantry to fall back on anytime I wanted to make a dish. Um, I had the supplies handy. So would I do it again? Definitely. I'm really, really glad I had it. I think I would plan much better this time around, really sit down and make a detailed uh, list of the recipes and menus that I use on a regular basis and make purchases to apply to those things. And that would help me in, in purchasing properly, you know, not overbuying in one area and underbuying in another. 
So it's been a great experience, and for anybody who is prepping for one, um, I hope that this little video will help you in thinking through about whether you want to do it or not. And um, in addition to the video, I will try to make a little um, plan, a written plan, and just kind of show that to you, what I would do this time. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your comments and your subscribing to my channel. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, maybe something I didn't cover in this, I would be glad to answer it for you, okay? All right, guys, have a great day, and I will see you soon.